I want my family to be on the same time that I'm on, though. Mm. I feel like you're very disjointed. You have yeah. all these different ideas and beliefs back I, to what you were saying. Yeah. How, how, like, I believe in that old school family stuff. Like, you know, your last name is important. Like, they're a representation of you. Mm -hmm. And, like, we move a certain way as a unit and all that. If if it's just like you said before, it's just me over here and you over there. I'm like, ah. it's a lot of it's 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 dysfunctional in a sense, right? Yeah, I feel like. Um, I give you an example. Um, the Bible says that um, train up a child in the way they should go, and when they are older, they will never depart from it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, another scripture says that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Right. So for me and my house inside this home right you once you leave you're going to go out do your own thing but if you're living here mm -hmm. you're going to serve the lord right now i know that there are even at my church there are fam like there are families this is one family who's uh indian and i believe if i'm not mistaken they converted from um, islam to christianity right and how they move as a unit collectively together is like such a beautiful thing, right? Mm -hmm. I see the kids, I see the mother and the father collectively together, you know, uh, learning together, doing everything together all the time. Like they're literally a unit. They're a tribe, which, you know, if you, if you look in the Bible, like there were many tribes. There, were, there was always a tribe. It was collectively together. There was no like dibbling dabbling you go here you go there or you could do whatever you want to do because if that's the case if we could do whatever we want to do then we we set ourselves up for disaster honestly and like, and that that that's kind of to my point especially because of this whole like as black people and religion and the christianity and kind of that if if you go back to the whole tribe idea i mean part the identity of the tribe or of your people is a shared belief system right like you don't have a tribe if you are all over the place mm -hmm. and if if on sundays some people are over here and some people are over here is division mm -hmm. you know or holidays some holidays we're gonna do this and then next year we're gonna do that i think there's some practical things that are divisive what do you, what do you think i don't know i feel like you could still pick and choose and still pick and choose together like so. okay like on this sunday we're going to go to church next friday we're going to go to the what's it called Master. yes she belongs yeah. to the street <laughs> <laughs> she know <laughs> like i feel like you can still move in harmony even though you might not have the same belief and then like some people might not have such a hardcore belief like so with your wife was she into like the religion too when you met her or like yeah. did y'all go through the journey together like we we both uh so my wife um she she grew up uh pentecostal at first and then um you know transferred over into you know more christian and um you know for me well we both go to a non-denominational church so for me i grew up in the ame church which is african methodist episcopal and i left the church because of because of the religious uh traditional things the pol the politics that was inside that that kind of mm -hmm. like jaded me from that and for about 10 maybe you know 13 years or so um i wasn't in church at all and i felt that of course i had god yes i read my bible but i wasn't like really practicing the you know um you know my belief heavy like that not like i am now and it wasn't until me and my wife got together where we we were saying like hey listen we need to have, you know make sure that we're a unit make sure that we're a union but we both both knew that god had to be in the center of our relationship so we found found our church that um that we've been at for 10 years now uh high place church and pastor edgar alvarez has been someone that i who's now my mentor has shown me truly uh biblical teaching not what we see uh the most popular churches and the mega churches and all that other stuff that kind of give christianity you know a bad name right and for us me and my wife when we got married we have uh in our house we have this oil painting right and in this oil painting there's three braids on the oil painting three ropes and they're they're in a braid 
and it says uh, a threefold cord is not easily broken. And it's me, it's her, and there's God in the middle of it. And that became our foundation. So whenever it is that we do get into um, any type of disagreement or anything like that, nothing can really break us apart because ladies you could probably attest that it's much easier to undo uh twisted hair versus doing undoing braided hair right it's a lot tougher to undo the braids versus you know the twists so for us um that's really what it was i i we we put that thing together and saying this is going to be our foundation and it's it's been you know life-changing for us oh <laughs> rich is killing me 